My question is to the Minister of uh, Municipal Affairs. Last week, you announced a land use planning review that specifically excludes OMB operations. This is not what communities were asking for, and this is not what you promised two months ago. It's another bait and switch. Just like Bill 26 and 204, which was supposed to make OMB decisions consistent with provincial policy, and just like Bill 51 and 207, which the government said would, quote, make municipal councils the decision makers with respect to planning, unquote. Despite these bills, the OMB remains out of control. Earlier this year, the OMB ignored Waterloo's reg region's official plan and defied the province's own places to grow act. When will the government finally reform Question. the undemocratic and out of control OMB? Thank you, Speaker, and I appreciate the member's passion on this issue. We've uh, spoken about this many times, and I think that certainly at the, at the province, this government believes that we have a strong and modern land use planning system, and we b believe we have a well-established uh, development charges system, which is what I announced uh, just last week. And we heard from many municipalities, community groups, and developers who want more accountability, more transparency in the system. We believe it's time for a refresh, and certainly we believe that good land use planning is important to ensuring the long-term prosperity of our of our province for our environmental health and the social well-being of Ontarians and uh, when I spoke about the land use uh, planning uh, announcement last week uh, we talked about uh, including the OMB and development charges to better need, meet the need of 434 Answer. municipalities across Ontario. We need to hear the views of everyone. He knows. And certainly we have conflicting views, and I look forward to any input that the member makes uh, going forward, and I look forward to the supplementary. Here. Thank you. Supplementary. In 2011, the Minister of Labour promised the people of Ottawa that if re-elected, he would reform the OMB. He was re-elected and nothing happened. In 2012, the Minister of Finance promised the people of Mississauga that he would rein in the OMB in months, not years, he said. It's been over one year and nothing has happened. Instead, we have a bait-and-switch government review that focuses more on the needs of developers than the needs of communities and municipal planners. When will the government stop making false promises and admit it has no intention of ever reforming the OMB. 